Hey, good morning, you guys, uh, and happy November. I am super excited. I don't know if I've ever been more excited about a group, and I guess there's a few different reasons. So, uh, a little over a year ago, um, I started doing my own groups. In the past, there had been a rule, we always have to do these groups with another coach, and I could never really fully make it what I wanted to be. So about a year ago, I uh, decided I was going to do my own thing. And uh, it's been an amazing year. It's been a year of growth and change. And at first, I started off doing groups uh, similar to what I had done before. We would have a group that lasted for, you know, 30 days, and then I would clear out that group. New people would come, and we would repeat the same agenda. But after a couple months, I started to realize that a lot of people were coming back from one group to the next. So somebody would do a group in October, and then they wanted to come into November's group. And it also was kind of hard for me because I realized there was some really good content in the group that I was deleting that I could never access again, like these live videos. Uh, once they're deleted, uh, you can't get them again, and you really can't save them and use them for a different group. And so it occurred to me that I wanted to have something that was a flowing group, an ongoing group. So um, for those of you who have been in a group with me in the past, I think I, I was sort of trying to figure it out last night. I think this is my 65th, 65, 65th group that I have done as a coach, and you guys know I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but for groups, 65 groups is a lot, and there's typically about 20 people in each group. So some of you, somewhere along the way, have done a group with me in the past, and you're going to sort of, you may be confused right now because things are a little bit different. You look in the group, and there's already content here, and then we actually have a few people, about five of you, have never done a group with me before, and then we have a core group of people who tend to come, and they stay in the group from month to month. So I wanted you to know sort of like what that um, looks like for you. Like our members are comprised of people who have been with me for a long time and they come and they sign up every month and they come back into the group. And we have people that have never been in a group with me and you have people that have been in a group with me in the past, but this format is new for you. So it's really important uh, for a few different reasons. One, the neat thing about not clearing out a group and starting over every month is the agenda is fluid. Um, if you are in a group and you come back to it from month to month, it isn't the same agenda repeated over and over. You get newness. We are constantly growing and changing and adding to our knowledge. Um, and so what you'll find is, for those of you who have been around before, there will be some repetition of topics that you've heard before, but there is always newness, there is always growth, and part of the reason for that is I am always growing. In just a couple of months, I'll be at seven years of healing from my own personal eating disorder uh, nightmare life that I lived for 41 years. I'm now 48, and for the last seven years, I have been just chipping away at just full-on freedom. And uh, freedom is something that doesn't happen in a moment, typically. It's something that you work through, and it happens in layers, and you grow. And so as I grow, and as I explore different facets of freedom, I bring that to you. So I just wanted to kind of start off with letting you know what's going on here in the group. So if you see that there's content already here, you haven't missed out. In fact, it's a really good thing. So I want to start with how to navigate this group. How do you use it for the best um, possible outcome and results? Um, you'll see that I posted some November tips. And those are tips that I have. Again, I've done 65 groups. I know the people that do the best in groups do those things. So take a look at that post from yesterday, and it's November Tips for Success. And I ask you to say yes to it. About half of you have said yes to it. If you've seen it and not said yes, I'd ask the question, what's getting in your way? 
Um, so there's work to be done, but at the same time, you're going to be nurtured, you're going to be inspired, and you're going to be informed. I'm going to push you to think about hard things. I'm going to push you to think about things differently than you ever have with your journey with food. So the next thing that you're going to see that I always post every single week is journal questions. And one of those top tips for people that are successful is they do those things. You know, I ask some hard hitting questions. I really do push you to think hard and be real with yourself because you can get inspired. You can get just amped up by people that are doing well. Um, you can get amped up by good information. Truth will always set your soul on fire, but there's work to be done on your end. And a lot of that work is done, you know, outside of the group. It's really thinking through the things that I ask you to think about. And those journal questions will really, really help you. And people who do actually journal, they um, have the best success. And again, from month to month, the journal questions change. They're not, nothing about that is repetitive. Um, so definitely take a look at the journal questions. If you don't have a notebook, if you don't have something that you're using for this group, get one. Um, and because you will want to make note of things that are eye-opening for you. Everybody has an aha moment. Hopefully you have many aha moments, but you want to capture that when it happens because you will have days that are good, you'll have days that are tough. And you need to be able to reflect back in your own journal. The things that you learned will help you through days where you, where things are tough. Your own words are the most powerful for seeing you through um, as you proceed on this journey. Um, so the other thing that you'll see is I will post a weekly agenda. Um, so our first call is on November 6th. That is a Sunday. It's at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Time. I did post the schedule for all of our Zooms for the month, so you can prepare for that. Uh, three of them are on Sunday. There is one that's on a Monday night at 8 Eastern. Just take a look at that schedule so you can prepare for it. Don't be worried if you can't be there live. I record the whole thing. I post it here in the group, and you can watch it at your convenience. There's just something really powerful about being there live because the last few minutes of the um, Zoom, I always give you the opportunity to speak with me directly, to ask questions, to make comments, to talk about what's going on with you, and then you have the opportunity to speak with other people. And the cool thing about having people that have been in the group a long time, people that have um, you know been in the group in the past and brand new people, is everybody's at a different place in their learning and development. And you don't just have to be, you don't just get to be inspired by me and my seven year journey and, and, and what I know about this process, but you can inspire each other. And I think that's one of the powerful things about having a community of people who are facing the same challenges, especially people that are in different places. So, um, on their journey. So I think, again, that's what I wanted to create. I wanted to create an ongoing community, but those live calls allow you to interact, to see each other's faces. Um, there is a Zoom link there attached to that announcement. Um, it's in comments. It's actually in comments, but it's also in the, um, in the post as well with the dates. Um, if you have any issue with seeing that, you can. So um, make sure you know the Zoom dates. Go ahead and write them in your calendar. Make sure you have a journal. Um, the next thing that I'm going to direct you to is um, the featured, let me look at my phone so I call it the right thing, because Facebook is always um, <laughs> changing what they call things. So I'm going to make sure I call it the right thing. So yeah, so at the top of your page, if you're on your computer or if you're on your phone, um, there is, it's, there's a, a button that says featured and if you hit featured you can see announcements and there are things that are pinned to the top you'll see some um, I posted a few podcasts that I've been on if you want to hear more about my story and my journey I've had the opportunity to be in on over 20 different podcasts over time and I've just slowly sort of added those in I've got a lot more to add um, but I think they'll inspire you. The other thing you'll see under Featured is um, I give a, uh, a, 
a food list, a suggested food list. Um, I also give um, some options if you're looking for a specific plan for what to eat and when. Um, I give you, you know, my own plan, what I do. There's some options. There's a hardcore one. There is a, um, an, you know, a, there's a specific plan to get results um, if you are looking to, um, you know, move the needle with physical results this month. In the group, we talk a lot about behaviors. I absolutely insert nutrition information, and we talk about the food, too. Um, but if you were looking for a specific plan to get movement without needing to track your macros, that's there in the featured section if you scroll through that. The other thing you'll find is the Zoom link. It stays the same. If So if you save it, uh, you'll have it. But if you don't have it, you can always go to the featured section and you will see the announcement in the link for Zoom. You just simply click that link. It's always the same one every time and you will come right to me. Um, so um, that you have, and then also at the top where you have that button where you have featured, you can go to the photo section. And what's really cool here is you can go and watch all the short live videos that I've done in the group going back several months. So you don't have to just wait for our live call on Sundays. Um, I'm continuously you know, making short videos, just informational videos about nutrition, about things that you need to think about. Um, again, that's one of the top tips. Watch every video. Participate in the Zooms and watch every video. But you can actually go back, and this is one of the reasons I don't clear out the group. You can go back and watch all the old videos where I've talked about nutrition, I've talked about behavioral things. Um, and so there's a lot, there's a wealth of information. Just click photos and you can go through and you can click on, if you want to look at every picture, you can. Um, but you can also just see where there's videos and go back and watch all these short videos. And you will learn a lot just from that. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to ask you to do here in the month of November is share your story. It's really, really important for you to do this. And I'm telling you, because I, I know myself, I remember the first time um, once I started to get well, I had a lot of fear around telling my story publicly. Um, one of the things about disordered food behaviors, and disordered food behaviors can be starvation, it can be binging and purging, it can be compulsively eating, it can be secret eating, um, it can be emotional eating, all those things, you know, part of the reason they have so much power in our life is because we tend to be really secretive with those behaviors. There's so much shame attached to them. And uh, it shouldn't be, but it is. And we're going to get way, way into that. But that's a whole separate conversation. But, but there tends to be so much shame attached to eating behaviors that are not like what we see other people do. They tend to be things we do in secret. They tend to be things we hide. They tend to, they, they tend to isolate us and make us feel different. Telling your story shines a bright light on the darkness of the secrecy of whatever sort of disordered food behavior you have. When you shine a light onto darkness, it has to flee. Think about it. All the darkness in the world cannot outshine a single light. And so shining a light into that dark space and just being really honest. And again, telling your story might feel overwhelming. I know, it, I've, again, I've had the opportunity to tell my story many times and I've gotten, you know, good at it. But there's so many different angles and pieces of it. Uh, I am working on a book, by the way, and I, I can't wait. I know for y'all that have known me for a while, I've been working on this thing. And um, I basically put it aside for a year and stop working on it, but but I, I want to put it all out there. Um, that's going to be a resource that helps hopefully a lot of people. But telling your story not only shines a light in the darkness, it makes other people not feel alone. Because one of the lies that we believe about our sickness is that we are the worst. We're worse than anybody. Um, that it's too ugly to tell, that nobody else is like us, and it gives other people the opportunity to support you by saying, hey, that's me too. So it inspires you, 
it lifts you up, but it also inspires that person to tell their story. And a couple of people you can see have already talked in the group. They've already started to share. And I, you know, even if you've been in my group for a year, I want you to start fresh this month and I want you to tell your story for everybody who's here today. Talk about, you know, um, what your issues are and what you go through and how you've changed and what you've learned. We have some amazing success stories. We have some people that have, like I said, I'm going on seven years, but we have people here in this group that are, you know, hitting a two year mark um, since the first group they were in with me and now they, you know, have lost the weight. They're happy, they're healthy, they're healed, um, they're free with food. So it's just really, really important for you to tell your story. And then we have people that are on day one today. Um, so share your story, do it for you and do it for others. And shine a bright light on that dark place. Um, you might have also noticed, uh, if you're new to this group, that, you, that certain people pop in and they say what their daily intention is. Um, that is a very powerful way to succeed. There's something about putting it out there for other people, what you intend for your day to be like, that makes you more likely to do it. Um, it's interesting because you can have an intention. You can wake up in the morning and say, today is going to be a great day. I'm not going to eat foods that harm me today, right? You can think that to yourself and you will let yourself down and you don't feel that bad about it. You might be disappointed. You might heap condemnation on yourself. But there's something really powerful about sharing it with a group. It makes it real. It makes it, taking that action step is a step in pursuit of freedom. And freedom does require pursuit. It doesn't just happen. And like I said, it doesn't just happen all at once. It takes changes in what you do every single day. Starting the day off with an intention is really important. Now you might say, I don't know what my intention should be. And my advice to you on that is keep it really, really simple. The answer is, think about where you are. If you are drowning and you are just completely knee deep in binging or purging or starvation or compulsive eating or overeating, if you are knee deep in that, think about what your bigger, biggest issue is and start small. Start where you are. And again, this might be day one for you and your intention might be today, I am only going to eat foods that nourish my body and not foods that harm my body. And if you don't know which foods nourish your body, go into the photos or go into the featured section and scroll down and look at that list of foods. You know, sometimes the easiest thing to do to get started is just to say, I'm going to eat these things and not these things. And you know, we tend to, as people who struggle with food, we want to go all or nothing. Um, we tend to have that in our, as a personality trait, that we, um, it's pretty typical. Um, one of the things you have to do is resist the urge to bring diet mentality into this change. The first change you need to make is not worrying about quantity, not worrying about how often you eat, but I'm going to replace eating, you know, grains and seed oils and um, sugar, things that are causing my body harm with things on this list, and I'm not going to limit quantity. And, and it's funny because there's a lot of freedom in that, but sometimes that's hard to grasp um, because the fact that you are allowing yourself to nourish is um, it's, a, it's a form of self-care that most of us aren't used to. Uh, we're either completely indulging in junk or we are strict and we're counting calories and carbs and all that stuff. And I'm asking you not to. Um, now that's for someone who's just trying to get started. You might be in a place where you're eating the right things, but you are eating all day long. You're grazing. You're eating in response to emotion. You're eating in response to uh, things that are not hunger. And... Um, your plan for yourself, your daily um, commitment or your daily intention might be, I'm only going to eat three meals 
and I'm not going to eat in between. So what your intention is depends on where you are in this journey. And if you're struggling with what your intentions should be, ask me. I love answering questions. And the neat thing is, because this is just my group, there's another coach, I can do whatever I want. I can talk about whatever I want to. So you can ask me questions about anything. You can ask me behavioral questions. You can ask me questions about eating disorders. You can ask me questions about compulsive eating, overeating. You can ask me nutrition questions. Um, the truth is I have a ton of certifications and all those things. I have a lot of knowledge but more important than the knowledge I have is my own experience with myself in seven years of doing this. And with, I mean, literally, I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of clients over the last six years and uh, just thousands of hours spent in this. So you can trust me because I've got my own journey, but you can also trust because I know a lot about a lot of different things and you have access to me tag me. Um, it's really important that you, uh, I, as much happens in the group and there's, you know, just right around 20 people here in the group, I might miss something. I will never ignore you on purpose. So make sure you tag me if you have a question. Um, you just do at Jessica, J-E-S-S-Y-C-A, and my name will pop up and I will see it. But you can ask me questions to everything. Having access to me for the next 30 days is something that is very, very helpful to you. Um, so ask for help if you need it, if you're stuck, if you have a question, if you don't understand, if I haven't been clear on something. Um, the cool thing is a lot of times I'll get tagged and maybe I'm working with my one-on-one -on -one clients and I haven't seen it yet. And, I'll, and some um, tenured people, some they may come in, swoop in and answer the question before I get a chance to. And that's cool too. If you see somebody that has a question and you know the answer to it or someone who needs encouragement and you can encourage them, do that. That stuff strengthens you in your own journey. So um, every month always has a theme to it. And uh, I always do some sort of deep soul searching on what the theme should be. And I just feel so strongly about this month. Um, November is a month to focus on gratitude. And I'm going to teach you how gratitude ties into the whole process of wellness and how it's related to your pursuit of freedom with food. But more than that, what's on my spirit is November is a month of breakthrough. I love that word. November is a month of breakthrough. What does that mean? It means wherever you are, whatever stumbling block you have, whatever mountain is in front of you, it is time for a breakthrough. If you have been repeating the same cycles, if you have been seeing the same thing in your life play out over and over and you're frustrated, this is the month to break through. Bottom line, guess what? We still have 60 days left in this year and you can stand up on January 1st and you can be incredibly different than you are today. I want you to think about that. Um, there will be a huge focus on pursuit of freedom versus running from the things that haunt you or harass you in your life. Because the truth is when you get your eyes on freedom and you're looking forward to it and you are taking the steps and you're running towards it, you leave behind all the things that have harassed you, that have caused you grief about this journey. And you'll see I'll always push you to look forward versus running from what's behind. So I have so much to share with you this month. Just an unreal amount of things that I want to impart to you in videos, in our live calls. Um, but here's the other cool thing. If there's something that you want to talk about, if there's a subject you want to cover that's going to be beneficial for everybody to hear, ask for it. Just say, make a post and say, hey, Jessica, can you talk about fasting, for example? Or, hey, Jessica, can you talk about, you know, any subject 
literally any subject that um, I might say, hey, that's already on the agenda, I'm going to cover it, but I am very open and fluid to covering either in a short video or, or adding it to our agenda if it's something that really everybody needs to focus on. So you have a say in getting what you need this month, but I'm telling you, the number one most important thing that you can do is participate. You have to get up and say, I am going into the group. I'm going to read the post. I'm going to watch the videos. And I am going to post my commitment, my intention for the day. Um, the other thing that I'll just come and get you thinking about, and we're going to talk about this on our call on Sunday, is... You will never have a successful month where you don't have a vision for what you want to happen, ever. And so we're going to talk about that on Sunday, but I want you to go ahead and start thinking about that. What do I want to happen this month? What do I believe is possible this month? Um, otherwise, the month will just kind of roll on. You guys experience that happening. I know the older that I get, the more I see that time just rolls by. And if I don't put intentions around the time, if I don't put intentions of, around what I expect to happen, what I want to happen, time just passes and nothing good happens. I don't have forward motion. So we want to put some things into place this month, a vision for yourself about how you will be at the end of these 30 days and what you expect to happen. So um, I'm sure I missed something that I intended to say. I get very passionate about this thing. I just... I just feel like in my spirit, this is a month of breakthrough. Grab hold of that. Come on this journey with me. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll lead you there. I will lead you there. But there's stuff that you've got to do. Work the process. Use the tools that I give you and participate. I'm so thankful for all of you. So grateful that you're here. Um, I do try, try to tag every person in everything that I post um, so that you don't miss anything. So it will show up in your Facebook notifications. But for some reason, if Facebook is wonky and it doesn't let me tag you or something like that, take the initiative to come in the group and scroll through and make sure that you haven't missed anything. So. Anyway, I, I can't wait to see what happens this month. I'm super, super excited. There is a wealth of wisdom in this group, and, and I don't just mean from me. So I'm looking forward to the interactions that you guys have with each other, too. And um, again, thank you for being here. Thank you for putting your trust in me this month. And um, we're going to do this together, and it's going to be great. Breakthrough. Okay? Talk to you all soon. Bye.